God is saying that I pray for you constantly. God is saying to you today the pain, hectic, questions, and sleepless nights are coming to an end. I am going to open up the windows of heaven and pour out everything you've been waiting and praying for. Blessings of love, good health and prosperity are coming your way. Type Amen for Lord, for the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Be so confident in God's plan that you don't even get upset anymore when things don't go your way. Your time is coming. Have faith. I mean, if you're thankful. All of your hard work is paying off. You are experiencing a quantum leap in delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. Stop overthinking. You are stressing yourself too much, and instead, you should be trusting me. Where is your trust in me? I love you. I won't let you down. Our power lies in what we do, say, and choose to believe and give our attention to in each moment. I hope you choose to stay aligned, grounded, heart-centered, focused on your vision and your mission, and that you come in your way right now. Type yes, if you're ready. You will receive a big amount of money this week. Type money if you believe. The top five Bible verses that help with anxiety. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests that align with your goals and values. Don't hold back or settle for less than you deserve. Trust in your capabilities and you will unlock your full potential and create a life that brings you joy and fulfillment. Type yes if you needed this. Whatever comes from God, it is impossible for a man to turn back. Very soon, God will fulfill all your that the devil tries to magnify to make them seem bigger than your God, to shake your faith. You have authority over him. He has none. He has been a loser since the beginning of time. He belongs under your feet, so start reminding him of what God has spoken concerning you. Even Jesus had to remind Satan of God's hope and a future. When the time is right, God will make it happen. All God has done. If you're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I want you to share this video. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. Jesus is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. Psalm 145 verse 18. Faith is not hoping God can. It is knowing he will. Amen. This week, I am falling in love with whom I am. I am giving myself everything by going after what I deserve. I am focused on how I want to feel. I am mastering my daily practice of self-care by being self-first. I trust that I have what I need to. I need you to remember you're not in this thing alone. I'm working on your challenges. I've already assigned angels to you. So let go of the stress and just trust. Type yes if you believe in God.